Let's make some additions to our previous Win32 C99 code to create an animated red diagonal within the window. I'm only going to go over what we've changed. First of all, an integrity check function. Next, a global state object. Within that, a sub object with all of our variables. We have a pixel buffer, some handles, x and y coordinates, the client area, a hackish redraw timer. We'll access these variables by typing gs.raw and then the name of the variable. So for instance, if we want x, we type gs.raw.x. It's important to note that even though this struct is lexically within this struct, this struct definition actually exists within the global namespace. This means you still need a sufficiently complex enough name to avoid collisions with other people's code. WinMain you should be familiar with. This is new, and I really shouldn't have done this, but let's go over it. This is a macro, and this is a macro. They're both going to resolve to either ASCII or Unicode, depending on if Unicode is defined or not. Which makes absolutely no sense since I hard-coded the ASCII version of the Windows class. So if you have Unicode defined, this program won't run. The previous tutorials should have given you enough information to kind of figure that out for yourself. But I just wanted to go over that because that has changed. We've refactored a little bit of how the window is created, but it's not important. You can use the old window code. That'll work fine. Register class, you should be familiar with. Create window, you should be familiar with. You should also know that this create window command right here is a macro that is going to resolve to create window A. Um, I really should have refactored this, but I didn't, so I'm just going to note it. All right, so on to the graphics. We're going to allocate a pixel buffer right here. It's going to be 64 by 64 pixels, all unsigned 32-bit integers. That's what color ref resolves to in Windows.h. We're going to fill it with gray. Then we're going to create a bitmap. It's going to be 64 by 64 pixels, one color, blank, one color plane, sorry. And this is the number of bits in one pixel. So size of color ref gives us the size in bytes. And then we want to convert it to bits by multiplying by 8. This is a void pointer to the pixel buffer. And we're going to crash if it returns null, because that means the command failed, and there's no point in continuing. If you want to see more reference on create bitmap, I put it over here on this screen for you, as well as some other functions that you can look at. We're going to get a handle to the client area. Once again, we're going to crash if we get null, because the command failed. Select object, I found a little bit confusing, so I wrote some big long comments and did a lot of research on it. So you can pause and read this now if you want. And here's our select object command right here. This should look familiar to you, so we're not going to go over it. And then on our Windows procedure is the last part of the graphics code. This is where we're going to actually update the graphics. So within here, let me uh, indent that so you can see that on the screen. Every 120 ticks, we're going to do our redrawing. It's important to invalidate the rectangle, otherwise the updates to set bitmap bips, set bitmap bits will not show up. So right here, we're going to convert the xy coordinate to an index within our buffer, and we're going to set a red pixel. And this is going to copy the entire buffer into the bitmap. Lastly, our message loop, or not our message loop, but our message handling. Right, so case wm paint is uh, when the screen is being redrawn. Down here is uh, the WM destroy, which you should already be familiar with. And then I just noted these two, because I think they're important to know about. You can look that up on your own time. But let's go over this. So the most important part 
is the bit blit right here. I made some comments about what variables are what. And if you want to see more on that, I put the signature over here on the screen right here. And lastly, I want to give credit where credit is due. So I hacked this together from various people's code and comments. So here's what I can remember of who needs some credit. With that, let's run this function. Here's my build script that will run to get it working. I'm gonna hit up in my console, hit enter. I'm gonna drag the screen into view so you can see it. So we have our pixel buffer that's gray and you can see a red diagonal and we've pasted it four times. And when I move my cursor, the red line grows. So we actually want to fix that, right? We don't want the window to only update when we move the cursor. We're going to fix that in a next tutorial, but for now, this is good enough. I'm going to pause on the build script for you. And as always, you can message me if you need some source code.